And welcome back. Today we are in the kitchen with nutritionist and dietitian Marie Spano. And we're talking about the perfect timing just in time for those New Year's resolutions. Okay, fads versus fiction yes. is our topic today. So where do we begin? Well, first, okay. and it's fact or fiction. So okay. you have to go on a low carbohydrate diet to okay. lose weight. Uh, low carb. Mm, I want to say no, but maybe yes. That is fi total fiction. In fact, if you cut your carbohydrates too low, you'll feel drained and tired during the day because these are our energy-rich foods. Okay. So don't go too low in carbs, but choose healthy choices such as fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains. These are excellent options. One of my go-to favorites is sweet potatoes. In addition to their rich, sweet, caramelized flavor, these are a very versatile vegetable. You can use them in sweet potatoes, make uh, sweet potato fries, top a sweet potato with broccoli and cottage cheese or regular cheese. Okay, so I'm looking, let's rewind for a second. Yes. Back to the beans. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't think of those, at least I don't, as carbs, but you're saying they are, that, that would, the group they would follow would be carbs. They're, they are carbs and protein, so that's a good point, and they're full of dietary fiber as well. So a lot of carbs in beans? A good amount, yes. A good amount. Okay, so that, and then you've got rice. So I would think of that, is there more carb or less carb in rice and pasta? Uh, about the same, actually. Good question. So rice, pasta, barley, couscous, they all have about the same amount of carbohydrates. And interesting, too, the fruits. Now, most people forget that there's carbs in such as apples, oranges, mm -hmm. grapes. A lot? They, yep, quite a bit. In fact, the sweeter fruits, like grapes, have more carbohydrates. Um, Apples, good amount of fiber in them, so. Huh, okay, I didn't think about that. Yeah. So back to the sweet potatoes. Yes. So you're looking, is this considered to be double carb because you've got the pancakes and the strawberries? It could be. Um, you know, of course I loaded up on pancakes. This is uh, more than one serving. But the thing I love about sweet potatoes is that a small sweet potato is only about 103 calories. So it's a low calorie food and it's a good source of vitamins A and C and dietary fiber. And again, very versatile and 80% of our sweet potatoes in the U.S. come from our neighbors in North Carolina. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Where did the other 20% come? I don't know, that's a good question. That's a good question. You knew I was gonna ask Home you that. Food, yes. <laughs> okay, so cottage cheese, I would have never thought about putting that on a sweet potato. This is my quick meal because I can put it together in minutes and I often bake sweet potatoes ahead of time and then just wrap them in foil and save them for a couple days in the refrigerator so I can pull them out Add the steamed broccoli, add the cottage cheese, all in one meal. Now, how long does a sweet potato last in the refrigerator? Can you keep a potato, or any potato for that matter? I would say a day or two. A day or two. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to save this for the next segment. Yes. But what, we've got time for this part. Okay, next, you have to eat breakfast to maintain a healthy weight. Yes. Yep, you got it right. In fact, breakfast eaters tend to have healthier body weights. Okay. So get up and get your morning meal. It's, it's quick to prepare. You're questioning that? Yeah, well, no, I'm thinking, does it matter what your morning meal is? Say you have a piece of pizza for your morning meal. Like, is that still considered, I mean, are you still on the right track? Because you're eating breakfast, but yet it's not necessarily the best food. Well, you know what? Pizza's actually an okay food. So you can take lunch or typical lunch or dinner foods and eat them in the morning. That's okay. okay. Um, I love incorporating ingredients like peanut butter because peanut butter is a good source of fiber, protein. In fact, it's got eight grams of plant-based protein in it okay. and healthy fats. Plus, like sweet potatoes, extremely versatile. So I often add it to oatmeal. You can add it to a protein shake. You can make something like this. It's an apple peanut butter toasty. Very quick, easy. Um, and so peanut butter is a great addition to a healthy diet. Yeah, sometimes I'll get emails. Viewers will say, how, how do you eat steak at nine o'clock in the morning? And I always say, easily because I can eat really any food for any meal. I can flip, flip I can, flop them around. I can do that too. But some people can. Some people want breakfast food for breakfast. Okay, so we're going to save this for the, the next segment, okay? Okay. What is it going to be, by the way? This is fast food. Okay, fast food. I get questions about fast food all the time. Okay, we're going to save that. We'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Okay. And welcome back. We are in the kitchen with Marie Spano. And let's get to our next myth. We're talking about fast food. Mm -hmm. And so this myth, you have to get rid of all fast food in your diet to lose weight. No. That's correct. And though there are plenty of unhealthy uh, fast food choices or 
not so nutritious fast food choices. If you look closely, there are some good options out there. For instance, I've got a Wendy's chili. This is about 270 calories. This is an ultimate chicken grill from Wendy's. And this is a salad that I actually get pretty often when I'm on the road from Burger King. And it's just a chicken, apple, and cranberry salad. So the chicken, I've always wondered about fast food chicken. Is it? It's fresh. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fresh. A, honestly, it tastes the same as fine dining chicken to me. Oh, okay. Seasoned differently, of course, but as long as you go to a place that makes their salads fresh, um, the chicken tastes good. Okay, our next myth. Yes. We're talking about juices. I see a lot of people grabbing these. Are these meal replacements? What are these? Those are juice cleanses or detoxes, and detox is so hot. So, next myth. You, have to, you should uh, do a du uh, juice detox to lose weight. Is this like a 30-day detox or is like a one-day detox? Any. Uh, no. Correct. In fact, like I said, these are, these are so hot, and if you listen to the makers of juice cleanses, they'll mm -hmm. tell you that they help you get rid of toxins, you lose all that unwanted body fat, and you'll feel so energetic. Mm -hmm. However, there's no research to actually support those claims. There's no science out there about detoxes. But the magic lies in the fact that they're coupled with a low-calorie diet. So sure, you'll lose weight pretty quickly, mm -hmm. and you'll lose a lot of water weight. But as soon as you start eating normal foods, you'll gain it all back. Wow, well, that's good to know, because I w was in Ohio for a little bit of Christmas, and uh, I gained four pounds when I was there, because I eat like a grown man when I'm there because it's a you know an Italian mother who cooks massive four meals a day or five meals a day and so I thought about that I was like maybe I should do a little juicer but so you're saying that's not necessarily the option to no. go. and another point like I mentioned that they'll always say you get rid of harmful toxins that's the job of our organs and our organs do a pretty good job of that okay. so you don't need a juice cleanser detox okay when we come back we're gonna be talking about what several meals a day. Do you need five or six meals a day or two or three meals a day? Okay, well the myth is uh, going to be around the corner. So much going on and you want to start your new year with us, right? Yes. Here we are in the kitchen I and uh, what's our last segment, Okay, Marie? last one. Fact or fiction? You should eat multiple small meals during the day to rev up your metabolism and burn more calories. True. That's actually false. It's a myth. What? And though we don't have a lot of data on meal timing, how many meals you should eat during the day, here's what we do know. Okay. Eating five or six meals a day multiple times does not increase your metabolism or help you burn more calories any more than eating two or three times during the day. However, doing so may decrease hunger a little bit, so it may help with appetite control. So you don't eat such massive servings. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I was going for. Eat a little bit every mm -hmm. you know so often and then you'll be fine you so are to these some good hungry. options well these are this is five multiple meals a day you don't need this you can combine them two or three i mm -hmm. actually take people if they tip and you know, don't change their meal patterns if they eat three meals a day that's fine you don't need to eat five meals and two snacks like you've heard your stomach will actually get used to eating less too it will it will oh geez so many things we learned today mariespano.com for more information, or if you've got questions uh, on the dietary world, she can certainly answer them for you. Happy Thank you. New Year, everybody. Be safe tonight. That's right. Don't drink and drive. Call a taxi or your mother or father, somebody that can bring you home. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.